Rent control. Rent control is a policy that sets limits on the amount by which landlords can increase rent each year. Ontario has a rent control policy that sets strict limits on rent increases and how often the rent can be increased. Imagine that you are ready to rent your first apartment and you are familiar with the Residential Tenancies Act, the RTA, and you think you know your rights. You find a nice place in a newly built condominium in the downtown Toronto area. The condo owner tells you he has purchased the condo as an investment property and seems anxious to rent the unit to a young professional like you and at a fair competitive market rent. You cannot believe your luck having found a suitable apartment in a new building with amenities and right downtown where the action is. You sign a lease agreement and eight months later you receive a rent increase notice from your landlord that your rent will increase by 25% for the next year. You thought you knew your rights, doesn't the RTA limit any rent increase to a guideline amount determined by the Ontario Consumer Price Index CPI, and the rent increase cannot exceed 2.5%? Unfortunately, this guideline only applies if your rental unit was first occupied before November 15, 2018. Thanks to the Ford government, if your unit was first occupied after November 15, 2018, you are subject to uncontrolled rent increases. This loophole to rent control is not well known by many prospective renters nor is it well publicized and landlords are under no legal obligation to inform you that your rental unit is not rent controlled. The idea behind exempting new units from rent control was meant to be a way to encourage the construction of more rental housing. Landlords and tenants in Ontario have different opinions on rent control. The debate over rent control has been ongoing, with both pros and cons to consider. On the pro side, rent control lowers the rent process, making it easier for tenants to afford housing. Lower income tenants have access to more places to live, as rent control makes it easier for them to secure a home. Lower rent provides tenants with financial savings. The cons or disadvantages of rent control are that rent control can slow investment in the building industry, as it may not be as profitable for landlords to invest in rental properties. Rent control discourages landlords from maintaining and repairing units as needed funds are not available. Rent control may not even benefit low-income tenants, as tenants who can afford to pay market rent are frequently those who are receiving the benefit of lower rents. Rent control can lead to bullying and illegal behavior by landlords, as landlords may try to evict tenants in any way possible due to a landlord's ability to re-rent a unit at the market rate once it has been vacated. Landlords can also apply to the Landlord Tenant Board (LTB) to increase rent above the approved guideline amount (AGI). If property municipal taxes have increased an extraordinary amount, the landlord has incurred increased security services costs, or the landlord incurred eligible capital expenditures. The future of rent control in Ontario is uncertain, as the provincial government is developing substantive rent control reform. It is unclear what this reform will entail, but it will most likely include a change to rent control that would remove the current limitations, meaning that all tenant-landlord relationships would be governed by rent control.